This park, so close to Adelaide's east end, has long been a source of tension between competing priorities or visions for the city. Early residents thought little of the boggy landscape and from the 1850s used the park as a rubbish dump. With most of the native trees chopped down, the area was described in 1857 as a quagmire in winter and a desert of dust in summer. Addressing this neglect took many decades. Park 14 was cut in two around the year 1900 by a tram line. The tram was electrified in 1907 and continued running through this park until 1957. Then, from 1958 to 1961, the park was transformed due to the efforts of the City Council's town clerk, William Veal, and its then Mayor, Arthur Rymel. Their first initiative was approving, in 1958, the Adelaide Bowling Club off Decatable Terrace. These facilities still include a function centre, office space and a large car park for members. This private space remains the largest alienation of Park 14. In 1959, work began to transform the area closer to East Terrace, first by removing a rubbish tip off Bartels Road. Only when landscaping was completed in 1961 was the park renamed as Rymel Park, with its own playground and Rymel Lake. It's since been a family favourite for picnics and wedding photos over generations. In 2002, it received another Ghana name, Merla Wirapurka, honouring a local leader at the time of European settlement. The Rose Garden near Decatable Terrace was opened in 1961 and was extended in 1997 when this timber arbour was added. In 1962, John Dowie's bronze statue of Alice was installed. In recent years, Rymel Park has been one of the main venues for the annual Festival Fringe in February and March, hosting a variety of entertainment sites collectively known as Gluttony. Rymel Park was again transformed in 2016 and 17 by the excavation of a deep covered trench for the Oban Busway. The initial design was for a four-lane highway, but after massive public protests, was scaled back to cater only for buses. However, that change thwarted the earlier proposal to return the width of Rundle Road to parklands. More than 60 mature trees were sacrificed to improve bus scheduling.